Alec Manassian will find out in March whether he'll be criminally responsible for his attack with a van on Young Street pedestrians back in 2018. Final arguments wrapped up at the trial today. Lisa Hefner has the details. Ji Hoon Kim, So Hee Chung, Geraldine Brady, Chul Min Kang, Mary Forsyth, Munir Nadjer, Anne Marie Damico, Renuka Amarsinga, Dorothy Sewell, and Andrea Braden. All 10 were killed by Alec Manassian, who decided to fulfill a long held desire to commit mass murder on April 23, 2018. He picked up the van book from Ryder weeks in advance, worked his way to Young Street, and mounted the sidewalk when he saw crowds of pedestrians. He's also charged with the attempted murder of 16 others, like Beverly Smith, who lost both legs when she was struck walking to the library. In this interview, hours after his arrest, Manassian told police he was motivated by a misogynistic subculture, frustrated he couldn't find a romantic partner. In later psychiatric interviews, Manassian revealed he was also nervous about starting a new job. He had fantasized about mass murder for years and coveted the notoriety. Manassian's defense argues that he has mental disabilities due to autism that prevent him from knowing right from wrong. The prosecution says Manassian clearly stated that he knew killing people was wrong. His plan was to inflict horror and gain infamy. It wasn't a complex plan, Joseph Callahan argued today. Rent van, drive van down street and kill people. Manassian kept himself from committing the mass murders he dreamed about in high school and didn't feel as murderous when life was better for him in college. And he told doctors he always hid the obsession from friends and family. There was never anyone I felt would agree with the mass killing stuff, Manassian said in one assessment. The defense says Manassian treated his attack like a video game and didn't have the empathy to appreciate the impact. So he should be found not criminally responsible. But the prosecution says empathy doesn't matter. Manassian knew murder was wrong by society standards. That's why he was secretive about his plans and pushed aside dissuading thoughts. You don't need to know why it's wrong, especially something as significant as killing. That should be enough to know that, Callahan said. Justice Anne Malloy ended by saying the trial had been arduous and she will need some time to decide the complicated philosophical questions around rational choice. To be clear, she said, autism is not on trial here. Mr. Manassian is on trial. He happens to have autism. She's scheduled to deliver a decision on March 3rd. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.